Hi everyone, my name is Reed. I'm an SCA this summer and I'll be giving a tour of Holcomb Hall today. So Holcomb Hall is located on the north side of campus on Garland Avenue. Over here you'll find basically the Garland Garage which a lot of you may park in. Um, and over here is going to be the law school and also the central part of campus which includes the Union, Mons Library, and a lot of other places where you'll spend a lot of time at. Um, but we'll just go ahead and head on in and kind of look around and see what you're going to be living or where you're going to be living. Perfect. Thank you. So we're going this way and kind of go through the common areas and see where you're going to be spending a lot of time if you're hanging out with people. Um, just a couple of fun facts about Hukum Hall. It is home to 140 co-ed students and the Office of International Students and Scholars, which is important to know just so you see how many people you're going to be living with outside of your one roommate. Um, so if we come in here, there's a couple different common areas, but back here, I think this space can be reserved for meetings and stuff. Yes. This space is great because it also has 24 hour quiet hour. Um, so any time of day, if you need a study space in your residence, this is a yeah. great place to go. There's a lot of tables and chairs, and if you want to come study with your friends, if you don't want to go to the library or the union or any other study space, this is a great option. Um, and it's kind of cutesy, I like the yellow walls. Uh, <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and head out and look at some more of the common areas. Another fun fact about this hall is that it's an academic year hall, so when there are things like Christmas and Thanksgiving break, the hall doesn't close, so you can stay here if you need to, mm -hmm. a couple days after, or if you want to stay for the entire break. Um, so right here is a kitchen. It's a kitchen without a stove or an oven as well. So we just have this um, microwave, this fridge, cabinet space, and a sink, but you're more than welcome to use that at any point in time. Um, moving into this room. And the main kitchen most residents use is in the basement. That one has a oven and stove and all of that, and we'll show you that when we head yeah. that way. Um, so this is like the piano room. I also think this is very cute. I love the furniture. You can come in here and hang out. You can play the piano if that's something you're, that you're into. Um, and it also connects to the main living room, which is where we'll move into next. So this living room hosts a lot of events, specifically for international students. So you'll see a lot of things being advertised called the Global Series, which will basically immerse people that are not a part of those specific cultures and what those cultures do. There are a lot of fun events, has a lot of food. It's very fun. And uh, this adds on to the fact that like on any given year, the international student population in Holcomb Hall makes up 40% to 50% of the building, which allows these residents to interact and meet people that you probably wouldn't meet before, especially if you're not living in Holcomb Hall. So again, there's a lot of seating. There's a lot of tables. Uh, again, I just think this building's so cute. I love the yellow walls. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so from here, we're going to kind of just move down to look at the room uh, that you may be staying in, a kind of like a simulation of what you may be staying in, and the washers and dryers. But before we do that, we have the front desk and mailboxes. So these mailboxes, we'll start with that, are actually for Futural. So you won't use these if you live in Holcomb. Um, but moving over, we have the front desk. So the front desk is where you're, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can come here and get help. Uh, most of the day and night. It's going to be staffed during the day by a desk admin, which here it's Missy, our lovely, wonderful Missy. Um, but here they can help you kind of, uh, if you need mail that doesn't fit in your mailbox, they'll give you that. Um, if you have any specific questions, you can also come here to rent out pans and pots and other things um, if you're planning on using the kitchen or if there's like a pool table or something. If, if there's anything else that you can check out, it, it, it'll be here. Mm -hmm. And packages too for both Holcomb and Futural. Yeah, so moving in here, this is where the mailboxes for Holcomb is. So here you'll have to use your code, you'll spin here. Um, you'll find your code in your housing portal um, and you'll use that throughout the year. On the specific mailbox that you have, it'll have a number that, that correlates to whatever room you're in. And you do share a mailbox with your roommate, that's important to note. Perfect. So now we'll just move down into the basement and look at some of the rooms and also some other common areas. Also, this is where the International Student and Scholar Office is. Um, so, do you want to say hi real quick? We are on live. <laughs> Hello. So, they do a lot of amazing programs here in Holcomb that I highly recommend everyone attend. Awesome. 
So we'll just work our way down the stairs. So Holcomb has three floors and the basements. So technically four total. And the basement is for female residents. And the second floor is for male residents. And the third floor is also for female residents. So, so we'll work our way down to the washing machines and everything like that. Here. There's someone doing laundry. This is an exact simulation of what you may be doing over here. Um, <laughs> so here are four or four sets of washers and dryers down here. Um, what's going to be different this year about laundry than it has in the past is that we're going to be using a laundry alert app called Speed Queen. So with Speed Queen, you're going to want to download this app and you get two washes a week. After those washes run out for the semester, you will be spending $1.50 to wash any more of those clothes or you have any more loads. We also recommend that you bring your own detergent and pods and anything like that uh, because we do not provide that for you. Yes. Um, but there's also some pretty good space. One thing I do recommend, or I know some of my friends do as well, is whenever we're doing laundry, um, we'll sit down here and we'll work on homework all the way to get done. Luckily, Holcomb has like a couple of tables. Um, and also, you'll find a vending machine every so often in this building as well. But yeah, so this is laundry. We also have an ice machine, uh, some recycling sections. Yeah. So let's move on down to the other common area that we have in this building. Um, pretty long hallway, so if you have any questions, I can answer them right now. Absolutely. Um, someone asked about a single room, but we will get to those questions yes. soon. But any questions you guys have, send them in the comments. If you want, let us know where you're tuning in from. Yeah. And if you're going to be living in Holcomb, shout out to Holcomb. Um, which, do you know which room numbers we're looking at? I think one of them is 14 or 15, and the other one is, I don't remember what the one on the end of the hall is, but we can okay. get there. So this is another common area. Um, this one's pretty fun if you're looking to like watch a movie, movie or anything like that. There's a lot of couches, a lot of places to sleep, I would argue, if you want to take a nap. <laughs> um, but we also have our ping pong table and our pool table. Like I said earlier, you can rent um, the supplies for these two tables out of the front desk, and then whenever you're done, they'll take your ID as collateral, Whenever you're done, you'll go back and get that stuff uh, back to the front desk and then you get your ID back. Mm -hmm. um, we're also coming up on the kitchen that does have a stove and a microwave and an oven and all that stuff. And that is right here. So again, if you're looking to cook something, there's no need to bring your own pots and pans to the university. We rent that out at the front desk. I would also argue that like having those extra pots and pans, if that's something that you wanna bring, just takes up space. So if you're asking yourself whether or not you need it, you do not need it. <laughs> um, so I would just leave it at home. But nice fridge, you can keep stuff in it. Um, there's stuff in it right now. Um, and it's free for anyone to use. Uh, label your stuff though. Please label your stuff. <laughs> um, we have a couple water fountains. What's cool about the water fountains is that it has something to fill up your water bottle. Um, and yeah, so it makes it pretty convenient. So now we'll move on to looking at a double and a single room real quick. So again, this is the basement um, It houses the women in the door. Um, so we'll move down here and look at the double first. And I will give you some dimensions and things like that. Um, this is room 15. 0105. Anybody living in 15? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a typical double room in Holcomb. I'm just going to kind of list off the dimensions, so bear with me. But the typical room dimensions uh, the length is 15 feet by 3 inches, the width is 11 feet by 9 inches. A mattress is going to be, the length is going to be 80 inches, the width is going to be 36 inches. The wardrobe, which will be your closet, we'll go ahead and look inside one of this, one of those, is going to be 44 inches by 20 inches by 74 inches. Um, the cool thing about these closets is not only can you hang your stuff, but you can also put stuff on this top shelf. Yes. Um, and kind of store things. And they're kind of deep as well, so I wouldn't worry too much about running out of space. Um, and this is coming from someone who chronically overpacks. And then you also have your mirror right here. All of them have a mirror. So if you live in Holcomb, you do not need to bring your own unless you just want another one. Exactly. Yeah. Um, then we also have your chest of drawers. So each roommate is going to get a chest of drawers. Um, they're also a pretty good size. They're very deep. You can see inside of them right here. But can the, we grab the dimensions of that? Yeah, Sorry. I have it right here. Oh, um, awesome. So it's 28 by 22 by 45 inches. Um, and then every roommate also gets a desk, which is going to be on this side, a desk with a chair. Um, 
Also, something I want to kind of point out is whenever you do move into these buildings, you cannot move out the furniture. So if you want to bring your own chair, you're more than welcome to. This will have to stay in your room, though. There's no way that we can get rid of it. Um, yeah. Fun fact about these chairs. If you do bring your own, there's this nice little storage above the closet. It is big enough and deep enough to put this chair that comes with the room in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just a fun little tidbit. Yeah. So the dimensions of the desk are 42 by 24 by 30 inches, and the desk chair is 23 by 21 by 33 inches. Um, we have a question about the window. Yeah. What is the width of the window, please? It is 60 inches, and then the height is 68 inches. Lovely. Thank yeah. you. So I also want to plug that on the housing website, when you go to look at these rooms on any dorm, you can actually go and measure those things yourself if you mm -hmm. have any other specific questions that we don't have the answers to right now. It's really helpful, it's fun to look at, and a lot of questions can be answered on the website if we're not able to do that here. Housing.uark.edu. Yes. Um, that is everything in the room. Someone asked how many outlets are there and where are they located? So that's a really good question. The outlets seem to be hidden sometimes. I believe there's four total. Yeah. Um, there's definitely one between the closets. And then there's yeah, two back here as well. So there's two outlets, four total along the wall of the closets. And I'm sure that's the same over here. Um, obviously, you need places to plug in your phone, your computer behind your desk. Um, right now, the furniture is kind of pushed up against. But you can see here, there's definitely one behind the headboard. So. And you're more than welcome in the room to move the furniture however you want. We just make sure to say that you can't move the furniture out of the rooms. So if you want to adjust the way that this looks right now, that is completely fine. Someone asked if an ethernet wire is required. Do we know that? It's not required, but we definitely have an outlet for it. I'm pretty confident. Every room should have one. Um, Beautiful. We also have connection to like TV, like cable and things like that. You can definitely bring your own ethernet. It's just not required. Yes. Keep your questions coming, you guys. We have a several about a single room. We will head there yeah. next. Um, do residents ever use peel and stick wallpaper over the brown wall? So as of this year, that is not allowed. Um, I think in the past people have done that, but it does leave quite a bit of damage. So that is not anymore allowed. Um, but that's a great question. Yeah. If we want to, we can go ahead and move to the single room and just answer questions as we go. That's cool. Sure. Awesome. So the single room is going to be down here. On this hall, I believe there's only two single rooms, and it's down at this end. Um, but yeah. So this is a female restroom because the floor is for females. Um, we won't be stepping in there today, but that is where the restroom is in the basement. Yeah. And with those public restrooms, you also have your RAs. So there will always be an RA on duty. If you hear a knock at the door that says RA and duty, you're not in trouble. They just want to make sure that everything's okay in there. So before you move in, I think that should be an expectation whenever you're in a public restroom. Yes. Um, so here's one of the singles. This is room 10 on the basement. Again, it's basically a double, smaller, and it comes with all the same things. Um, it's got the same bed dimensions. Uh, the typical room dimensions are going to be smaller, but you can definitely find that on the website. I don't have that information right now. Um, you sew your chest of drawers, you get this little side table, you get your desk. And chair. you get two closets, actually. Yes. Um, so there's a closet right there, and then another closet right here. Same exact dimensions, same mirror, everything. Um, but yeah. Could you talk about hanging things on the wall briefly? Yeah, so hang, hanging things on the wall, definitely cool. Um, usually I would recommend using a command hook. I know some of the dorms allow you to use monkey hooks. I don't know if this is one of them. Um, so it's not one of those. Don't use monkey hooks here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so hanging things, definitely recommend command hooks, anything like that. Most of the time when you're getting ready to move out, I know there's worry and stress when you're removing them and remove paint, but you can just leave them on the wall. I'm pretty confident. At least they did that this past year um, with housing, and then they will take care of that issue. Awesome. Um, someone's asking, could we measure the inside of one of the Chester drawers dimensions? I think Scott does. It's one foot eight inches deep by 
two feet, two inches wide and seven inches high. Awesome. Um, what number is the other single room? So we are in, let's dip out here real quick. This is a single room, 009. Um, and this is also a single room, 010. Let's see if we have other questions. Um, do they have single room dimensions online? Yes. Yes, yeah. they do. And also, I just want to plug housing.york.edu. We have a new virtual tour. So you can actually walk through the space and measure things yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Send in your questions. If you're just now joining, welcome to York Home Live 2023. We are in Holcomb Hall. I also want to add that for AC, air conditioning, heat, anything like that, you'll have a unit in your room that you'll be able to control so you can... Yes. Go down. This is on 80 degrees. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's uh, probably for the summer because no one's here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you can control it like that. Turn the fan off and on. Yeah. Awesome. See, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it just came on. Yeah. I'm not seeing any. Oh, how high can the bed loft? That is a great question. Um, if you just want to raise it to its highest height here, can we get how tall that is real quick? That is one option, which is... Three feet. Three feet. So you can actually also double that. If you put in a fix-it request or a maintenance request, you can get a second one of these and stack it on top, which essentially lofts your bed twice as high, um, just like a lofted bed. So that would be how many? Six feet high? Yeah. yeah. Double that. Any other questions, you guys? When you are asking to measure the single room, that is where we are currently, what are you wanting measured? If someone could specify that, we would love to answer it. Yeah. If you're asking for just all the way across, that is 11 feet, four inches. 11 feet and four inches. Yeah. And then from inside, all the way across, over here feet, is 13 feet, nine inches. And that's gonna vary a little bit depending on your room and the layout of the room. They are not all exactly the same. The length and width. I think we did just get that. Awesome. Um, let's measure inside the closet. How deep are these shelves? Because I do know on one side there is three that are level and two that are slanted for shoes. They are nine inches deep. Nine inches deep. And two feet three inches wide. Two feet three inches wide. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. I wish I had more fun facts. I more fun facts? Let me think if I have any fun facts. I don't know, I loved Holcomb. I lived in it my freshman year and I had a great experience. Um, it's also connected to Futural. Yeah. That's why their packages and mail go here. Um, you can't walk from one building into the other without going outside. There is a brief like three feet distance. Um, Futural's fobs can access Holcomb because their mail is in here, but Holcomb's fob cannot access Futural. Um, that's good to know. Closet dimensions, please. Okay, so we did get those little shelves. Let's see if we can just do maybe the height from underneath the shelf from the bar. So five feet, four inches. Five feet, four inches, and then the shelf above. And then that is one foot, one inch. One foot, one inch, and then across. Three feet, seven inches wide. Three feet, seven inches, thank you. Mm -hmm. How many shower stalls are in the bathroom? Um, in the basement, I believe there is three. On the third floor, there is six. I think one is currently not working. They may have fixed that this summer, though. Okay. So, hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. And the nice thing about the showers is when you step out of the shower, there's also a little room with a curtain that you yes. can change in before you leave. Shower shoes are always recommended. Always, always, always. Yeah. The only other thing about Holcomb that I didn't mention already is I think it's about part of the Dogwood neighborhood, if I'm saying that correctly, which also includes the Northwest Quad. Yes. So if you're a part of Lee Hogs um, or anything RIC related, 
y'all will probably work together in groups at some point in time, which expands the amount of people that you'll meet. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Someone asked, how can window coverings be hung? I think command hooks. Big command, command hooks. hooks. Please don't screw anything into the wall. No. <laughs> um, also, there's the, I know that there are like curtains where the, I forget what they're called, the bars where they can stick them in between. It's yes. A, yeah. Like pressure rods. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Exactly. Um, yes. In Holcomb, you can do that. In a lot of the dorms, there's not this tiny little inner shelf, so to speak. Um, so command hooks are recommended. What is parking zone for Holcomb? So we do have a very small resident reserve lot right next to Holcomb. It's out the side of the laundry room. Um, yeah. And then Garland is also super close by. Yeah. So if you have a resident reserve pass, like I, I lived in the Northwest Quad my freshman year. So a lot of people that live in this area, if you have resident reserve, you're going to be in Garland. If not, if you get lucky, you'll be in that small parking lot. You may end up in the Northwest Quad lot, but those are probably your three options. It is a few yards away. It is yeah. just out the door. Yeah. We are on the very north side of campus. Yes. Any and the other, other questions? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. The other thing about being on this side of campus, so with the Garland Garage, you also have kind of like a strip of shops or just things that can help. So you have your subway, you have a campus bookstore, you also have a what we call small mart, which is Walmart on campus, mm -hmm. um, which if you're looking for something quick, such as laundry detergent, toothpaste, anything like that, you can go get that from the Walmart on campus, um, which is very useful. Um, so you're in a really good spot, and you're not too far from central campus, so things like the Union and the library. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Any other questions, you guys? I think we might be wrapping it up if there's not any more. Um, currently, we're in a single room. We also toured a double room and went through the common spaces. Um, yeah. All of these rooms have these long lights like this, too. Yeah. Sometimes I like to note what the lighting is in each, each different dorm. Oh, we might have another question. Are there elevators? Great question. Yes, there is an elevator in Holcomb. Um, it goes all the way from the basement up to the third floor, so anywhere you need to go, we can definitely walk back yeah. that way. Someone said, King Reed, uh, get into it. <laughs> I, I don't know who it was. Um, yeah, so luckily, compared to Futural, Futural does not have an elevator. Yes. Holcomb does, so it's more accessible than I say Futural would be. Absolutely. Um, so... Does that elevator all the way down the basement? I think it does. It does, yes. Yeah. And we can also just like point out um, the trash chute when we walk past yes. there. Again, this is the common space. There aren't currently people in here. This chair is iconic. Everyone loves that chair. <laughs> So there are only um, bedrooms on the other side. There's not on this end. This is where maintenance is. And this is where your laundry, trash. not your laundry, your trash, excuse me. Yeah. This is where the trash chute will go for the upper floors. And if you live in the basement, you just bring it right in here and yeah. throw it in. So, but if you are on the upper floors, it'll just be like a little door that you open. You throw it down, it'll end up down here. We recommend not putting cardboard in there. That'd be great. Um, yeah, if you have trash, put it in the trash chute. And here is the elevator. Awesome. So, it works like any normal elevator, but when you get into it and you want to go up, you'll have to use your FOP to scan to get to where you're going. If you're coming down, you won't have to use the FOP to scan. Mm -hmm. But that's just because it helps keep everyone safe. Safety. And everything like that. So, yeah. Any other questions, you guys, before we go? Thank you for joining us. This has been York Home Live, Holcomb Hall 2023. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>